Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be going through three locks each that we think you got to take with yourselves into 2023. Let's go. Big J, three locks each, six yeah, in total. Definitely. Um, just letting the fans know this is January edition. So if someone comes <laughs> up injured or something happens, you know, we can we can jump back on it and say, well, you know, if he wasn't injured, we'd pick him. You know, just, just kind of saying it that way. Yeah, you got to cut us some slack. I, I, we of know course. what we're talking about. We got we know what we're talking about, but. To be, you know, able to predict the future and whether or not someone can be healthy or not, that's obviously out of our control. We're talking strictly when you're healthy, you got to pick these six players, all right? Mm -hmm. And yeah. I will get us started. I'll get us started. Who I think needs no, with someone who needs no introduction in Nick Dacos. I think this mm -hmm. guy is a lock for your back line, especially for the price. We have so more primos than ever in the back line, over 600K, uh, you want to have someone who is almost guaranteed to be a top six defender. Well, without breaking the bank, I think you look no further than one Nick Dacos, who is going to have a very high floor at all points in time because of all of the kick-ins that he takes in. He also has improved on his gut-running ability. He's someone that Collingwood love to pass the ball to so that he can use his clean disposal to cut defenses apart. This guy, to me, is a no-brainer, Big J. Yeah, definitely. He's on. The, he's in my team as well, so really great selection there. Um, my <laughs> first pick off the ranks is Jacob Hopper. So brought over from GWS to Richmond, priced at, what, a 60 and has averaged 90-plus in the last three years, apart from last year, of course, when he was injured. So training the field down working in the midfield with all their players. They love him there. He loves being there. No-brainer selection. Should get an easy 150K if you're lucky. Oh, more like 200K perhaps. Uh, mm -hmm. I think this I think this is without a doubt um, probably going to be one of the most highly selected players in the competition, and rightfully so because not, every, not everyone is a bot. The only people not selecting Hopper are those autofill teams that are not taking this game seriously at all. I agree. He's in my team as well. Someone who I think should be in everybody's team is also Darcy Cameron. Again, super value option, DPP, Collingwood's number one man. When Grundy went down with his ACL, uh, Cameron did 38 points better than before. This guy, I think, is such a safe selection to park at R2. If you are unsure how you're going to go, you can buy time, wait to see which are the good Ruckman, and then you can trade him in and swing him into your forward line, where I think he is quite comfortably a top six to eight forward. I think, for me, he's a no-brainer, Big J. Yeah, the DPP flexibility is fantastic with him. You can play him in the forward line or in the rucks, like you say. Um, and looking at the training reports at Collingwood as well, it really seems like they might not be playing Cox as much this year. So it's going to be Cameron plus a pinch hitter, which means even more ruck time for him. Really, really good selection. He's a bit cheaper than a lot of the other premiums and a lot of the other ruckmen. So there's some flexibility to upgrade there as well. Yes, agreed. Uh, and they brought in McStay, and he should be McStayin' close to the forward line because they want more goals. They're not bringing McStay to Ruck. Otherwise, he might be McGon to the injury list. I know it's very cringy, but believe me, that's how Collingwood are thinking, okay? Mm. Next up on my list is a guy who, if you played Supercoach a few years ago, you would have picked in your team. And that's Tobin McLean coming in at 178K. Really, really good player that's been hampered by injuries the last few years, but seems to be playing or at least training in the midfield of the Dogs. Super big lock for me. Has scored over 60 since starting Supercoach, like in his first junior year plus, and he's only priced at a 30. So there's some real value there. M, you know, mid forward DPP is fantastic as well. So really good selection. If you don't have him in your team, you're doing something wrong. 
Yep, absolutely. And the training reports are really suggesting that he is training a lot with the midfield group. He's also being given quite a bit of responsibility. You know, Dunkley went out. Um, they also lost Lockie Hunter. So he's also going to be playing that Lockie Hunter role. He's going to get his hands on the football. I think this guy is guaranteed to make you money, especially now with, you know, slower pre-seasons. It's lack of Bazlenka. He was also really prominent in that wing role, wing position. So I think this guy is almost guaranteed to be playing in round one and having someone who to play a good hands on the ball position what, for that price with DPP. Again, that is 100%. He's in my team, man. 100%. Get him in there. Yeah, definitely. Uh, someone who I think is that sort of player as well for everybody in the competition. And I think it is the case for about 90% of DR posted, tweeted about him, and that's Dunkley. Dunkley is F1. You can hold me to it. If he's not F1, you can call me Bob for the rest of next year. It is ridiculous. I cannot imagine a world where Dunkley is not going to be the clear F1. He's going straight to be the number one midfielder at Brisbane. He's not going to be tagged because Lockie Neal exists and Lockie Neal is an absolute superstar. He's already talking as of you know today how his defensive pressure and his tackling is going to help the Lions win the premiership. That's something that is still going to be the case. He's a tackling machine. He's a contested ball winner. And the Lions have a better forward line than the Bulldogs do. So a lot more score assists. There is no downside. Lock him in. Yeah. Maybe we'll get Oliver or someone else, you know, super uber primo that ends up being forward DPP that knocks you off your perch there. But Dunkley's been a lock in my team. Um, since Supercoach opened. I don't think we're going to get him as forward DPP next year just for how much midfield time he's going to play. So this is going to be the last year, guys, that you'll be able to start Dunkley in the forward line. Fantastic pick. Even those teams that are going very cheap in the forward line have got him because you really don't want to miss on those 130 scores. You know, if your premium has got a 90 and, and Dunkley gets a 130, it's really going to hurt your bottom line there. Yeah, 100%. So please, guys, you got to cherish this moment. It's not going to last forever. Dunkley, mm. full forward. Let's go, baby. A forward who doesn't play forward. Yeah, really, really good selection. Remember our forward lines, they should be filled with non-forward players. We touched on it during our forward preview, our five players. But pick the guys that are really playing midfield and we can select them in the forward line. Well, midfield, ruck or defender. Forward, your key forwards are... They might score okay, but they're really inconsistent, and that's not what we wanted with our premium selections there. No, no, we don't. Who's your player, Big J, last one? So last off our list for our locks, at least for January edition, is Will Phillips. So training the house down, North Melbourne midfielder. There's a lot of space there for him to score, which is fantastic. Has scored relatively well in the past with some monster scores um, in the last couple of years. Has spent 2022 with injury. So not your normal, typical injury, you know, hamstring, calf, whatever like that. He got hit by glandular fever twice. So maybe you think, hey, glandular fever, it's no big deal. To some people, it can really, really hurt. The first time struggles, you get chronic fatigue, that kind of thing. Your club takes a cautious approach. You're fine, go back to training, get hit by it again. So pretty dreadful there. But He's only priced at like a 30, 165, well, 158K in the midfield. Really, really good selection. Um, I really don't see a downside to him barring the injury. North saying he's training the house down. He's dominating just preseason drills versus mature ages, which is crazy. This kid's got talent, and you'll see why he's picked by, you know, was taken in pick three this year. Yeah, this guy is so good, and he is training so well that it's actually put me off LDU because LDU is opposing him in the other team at training and their team is getting their pants pulled down by this guy's team. Like, I'm hearing this and I'm like, why would I pay that much when I can get a, a, a much, much cheaper version? This guy has never left my side and one that I'm very comfortable fielding, especially this year. There's so many mid-prices out there, you know, trying to go mid-price heavy uh, and get all the value there. Still love having this guy on the field. He never left my side either. Yeah, really, really good selection. Yeah. Well, guys, that's our three locks each for this year. Obviously January, but keep in touch for some more content. We've got some great videos coming out soon. 
Super Coach is back. We're excited. Hopefully you are too. Absolutely. Heaps of content coming up. We're pumping it out. We've got that uh, Super Coach group. Please feel free to come in, join in, uh, and look forward to a lot more to come, guys. Let's go. Yeah. Group code 222976. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.